Hello everyone, my name is Holden Hardman. Thank you so much for joining us again for another video. We're on a bit of an animation kick and we have been for a while. Last time we concluded Kung Fu Panda 3, the video we did prior to that was A Bug's Life. And people were surprised that Jen wasn't super crazy about A Bug's Life. I think you said it was, it was like fine, it was okay, but it wasn't one of your high tier movies. I mentioned this movie Ants, which was DreamWorks. Totally very different, but they came out in theaters within a month of each other. So they were like, two ant-centric animated films at the same time in like 1998. And animation as a medium for feature length films was still relatively new. So that's uh, an interesting factoid. Jen, what do you know about ants, if anything? And how are you feeling going into it? I know less about ants than I did A Bug's Life. Also a little nervous because A Bug's Life, I actually thought was gonna be better. And this is like, it sounds like the same thing. I just can't imagine it being that different, but I am willing to give it a chance. Either way, I really want to see what it's about. Just some brief channel updates. I just got back from Megacon. I did a vlog of doing that. I got to meet Titanic fan 97 and see his private collection of Titanic on VHS. I did Blue Beetle with Gus and that should be uploaded by the time this comes out along with the entire Megacon vlog. It was a lot of fun. I brought back Jen, her Darth Maul shirt. We're getting a little bit more Patreon exclusive content. If you'd like to support the channel, that'd be a great way to do that. We're also upgrading some of our merch. We got a couple of new things over there. There should be a link in this video down below, another way that you can help support the channel. But before we get into ants, we can't forget the comment of the day. Today's comment of the day comes from Dylan Shoon, 9371, who said, I used to watch A Bug's Life all the time at daycare and loved it. I do, however, admit that I enjoy ants more. I find it funnier and more colorful, and the violence is a bit disturbing, but still fun. I say deaf watch ants. So this is one of the reasons I wanted to go ahead and watch ants, because tonally, I would argue that A Bug's Life is a little bit maybe more for kids and a kid-centric audience, whereas ants is a little bit more mature. <laughs> I'm not done yet, though. I got another comment of the day. This comment of the day comes from Falco. Falco, that's what I call Falcon. Do a zoom in on it. Oh, I, I know. swear she's fed. I... <laughs> in the arms of the Falcon, are you okay though, for real? Falcon. Falcon. Falco. There you go. Yeah. Falco4077, who says, Ants holds a hilarious place in my heart. The first time my mom watched it, she was shocked that there was a swear word in a kid's movie. I couldn't stop laughing because I was a teen by the time she noticed, and it was years after I had the movie on VHS. Is your mom me? And finally, our last comment of the day from Roach Monk, who says, I definitely vote for an ants, ants episode. You wanna see a bunch of our mother's sisters? Because <laughs> the ant is the aunt, anyway. I think Jen would like that more than a bug's life. I agree. I could be well off. You might be done with just the bug ant thing. I've been watching a lot of like animals, like animated animals. That's the phase we're in right now on the channel. But now we're gonna find out. Let's go ahead and get started with ants. SpaghettiOs is like my childhood. I ate spaghettios and dill pickle chips like all the time. Mm. Dill pickle chips. Yeah, you, you, you eat those sometimes still. You don't like the Lay's ones. No. Right. Minnesota has Old oh, Dutch. Here we go. And Old Dutch is like top tier chips. Yeah, I'll give you an Old Dutch. And Holden <laughs> Thomas Hardman. I'll leave that to you. That was discretion. actually pretty good. I'll leave that to your discretion, David. I don't think you need that energy drink, babe. Yeah, I'm pretty wired from not getting any sleep. It's funny how that works. I might just not be like a fan of bugs, well, <laughs> well, bug you, movies. Well, you'd said that you didn't really watch animated movies in general anyways. A Bug's Life was not that great. So I just might not be like a- A bug person? Yeah. Gene Hackman, Danny Glover. Now that I'm an adult and I know who these actors are. Mm. Jennifer Lopez, Sylvester Stallone, what? Sharon Stone. Yeah, this movie had like a star studded cast. I have this fear of enclosed spaces. I, 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 everything makes me feel trapped all the time. I had a very anxious childhood. You and me both. My mother never <laughs> had time. When you're the middle child in a family of five men, <laughs> I feel physically inadequate. I, I, I've never been able to lift more than 10 times my own body weight. And, and I'm supposed to do everything for the colony. And, and what about my needs? What about me? The whole system makes me feel insignificant. You've made a real breakthrough. I have? You are insignificant. Uh, I am? Did you have movies on repeat when you were a kid that you just like had like a cycle of different movies? Uh, yeah, through? James and the Giant Peach. Oh, that's a good I one. That's been a long all time. The time. Ants so was in fun. one of mine. It's like Ants, Shanghai Nights. 
Flubber was another one. Oh, I did love Flubber, yeah. yeah. Uh, worker. <laughs> so I'm noticing that the animation is not as, uh, I, I would say that a Bug's Life animation looked better. They're definitely stylistically different. I feel like Bug's Life is a little bit more fluid, where this one's maybe a little bit more jagged. Mm -hmm. Just in the, plus the, just the design of everything, the world and the characters are a little bit rougher looking. A good attitude, even though I'm- It's very, it's a lot of like, they call keyframes, so you can kind of see them. It also just doesn't look as detailed. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't see ya. Oh, that's JLo. You guys are on Wrecking Ball. You got it. You got it. Yeah, I also don't know if maybe it's just the version we're watching on Amazon, but it just looks like a lower resolution in general. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if they ever did a 4K remastering of 1998's Ants. Oh, this just reminds sure. me of Ant-Man. I mean, why, how could I possibly be unhappy being a piece of construction equipment? Oh, wow. It's just a lawsuit waiting to happen. Hang on. <laughs> No. I understand. I dropped the ball. Literally. Yeah. They lack discipline. They lack commitment. But he is working full tilt as it is, and in spite of your limitations, you Gene are Hackman. going to finish this tunnel. Anyone who falls behind is going to have to personally explain themselves to Colonel Cutter. The Colonel is not as understanding as I am. The Emperor is not as forgiving as I am. And final farewell to their kind of incompetence. Yes, sir. Yes, but we're not there yet. For walk. Termite army has mobilized against us. We'll have to send troops deep into hostile territory. Don't we need the Queen's approval? Our very next stop cutter. They want our land. They're desperate for more foraging territory. Why don't we dispatch an ambassador? Certainly we don't need to send soldiers. Every ant in this colony is so precious to me. <sighs> very well. You've made a wise decision. Princess Bala. Might be nice if we had a conversation before we get married. You're absolutely right. Cutter, uh, schedule some private time. For there is time right now for a personal moment. How was your day? Anything interesting happen? We declared war. Declared <laughs> war. Princess. All right. We declared war. Um, why am I marrying this guy? Bala, do we have to argue about this again? What if I don't like my place? Everyone has their place, Bala. You soldiers get all the glory. You meet interesting insects, you get to kill them. Yeah. <laughs> I have a thing about drinking from the anus of another creature. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. And what are you bitching about? We're the lords of the earth. Hey, don't talk to me about earth, okay? It's just gotta be a better place. I've been there. Insectopia. Oh, really? Lunatic at three o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> no wars. No colony. I got cut off from my unit. Nothing like a little post-traumatic stress disorder to make your day. Jeez. <laughs> Ten clicks past the Great Canyons to the land of red and white grabs. Wouldn't it be great if it were that easy? <laughs> yeah. Ten minutes and we're out of here, right? I mean, this place is off limits. Just blame it on me. Time to dance. Time to cut a rug, Z. Oh, no, that's I'm going to leave the rug just the way it is, Weaver. <laughs> <laughs> Step back, ladies. I'm gonna ask one of these workers to dance with me. What a bunch of losers. Wanna dance? Absolutely. <laughs> I work over at the palace. Oh, the palace, huh? Oh. Is that princess? Yeah, princess okay. Bala. Inbreeding. What? <laughs> to tell you the truth, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of making it up. Really? Watch your step, worker. You watch yours, buddy, or you'll be in big trouble. Oh, that, that's okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> let him off this time. I'm gonna let him off this time. <laughs> you got us a trouble, me. Buckle up, Spanky. <laughs> you ought to watch that aggressive behavior, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, no. Princess Bala! Princess? You're a princess? Uh, he kind of looks like E.T. Oh yeah, he's got a similar like yeah. shaped head. Why it's almost like B. I can't unsee it now. Yeah. <laughs> it's always slow in here the night before one of those royal reviews. Soldiers need their shut eye before they meet the queen. You know, I was once. Gotta switch places with me. Let me go to the inspection instead of you. Are you nuts? You want me to switch places with you? You can get in trouble just for listening to someone talking about impersonating a soldier. 
Think, think of all the things that I've done for you. I can't think of any. Okay. <laughs> she probably won't even remember you. I know it sounds nuts. How are they gonna trade places? They don't even... They don't look alike? No. <laughs> you say we, we lose this crap. I think there's just so many of them, he just can kind of blend in. Just beautiful. Mm. The precision, the order. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. You new kid. Oh. Got a trial membership. Trial, <laughs> <laughs> trial membership? <laughs> a soldier knows that the life of an individual ant doesn't matter. This guy's crazy. I hear you. you. Have no choice but to launch a preemptive strike. I am proud to send you into battle. I'm so I'm sorry, into battle? Dismiss. Uh, I just came for the speech. Don't worry, kid. I'll watch out for you. Oh. Wow. Battle buddy right there. We saw the termites just for fun. Hurrah. Hurrah. So pushovers, right? Not really. Five times our size. And they shoot acid from their foreheads. <gasps> Jeez. We'll all be dead before we're through. Hurrah. <laughs> We're the first into battle. Let's uh, go marching three by three. Why don't we just try and influence their political process with campaign contributions? <laughs> Where is everyone? Something's not right. Uh, they're here. Definitely a different type of movie than A Bug's Life. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. oh my gosh, they're so much bigger. You saved my life. I oh, don't get all sappy about it. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I imagine this would be kind of scary for some kids. Yeah. Can somebody help me here? Can anybody? <laughs> <laughs> okay, mama. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> You're making the rest of us look bad. Well, I'm filling in. You fill in any more and you'll explode. Whoa. <laughs> yes, I, I see what you're Mmm, <laughs> yeah. Anybody who doesn't meet his quota is going to be downsized. Come on, cut him a break. Help your attitude a little bit by taking away your rations for the day. Thanks for your time. Are you asking me out to dinner? <laughs> I'm kind of glad he's taking a breather. Oh, boy. Meanwhile. <laughs> pretty brutal. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Kid, over here. Be honest, kid. <laughs> that, is that just his head? Yeah. You're looking terrific. You, you got, you know, swell. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and find your body. It, it's bound to be. Try and find your body. <laughs> <coughs> oh, no. They don't follow orders your whole life. Think for yourself. <sighs> oh, God. He just wanted to get ahead in this life. Now he did. The enemy was destroyed. Disaster for our troops as well. Terrible. One soldier did make it back. Damn. Good. D damn good. Uh, I'll handle this. I don't like heroes. But sir, you don't understand. I... Welcome home troops with that. <laughs> a massacre upon a massacre. That's good, soldier. Now wave. You didn't know they were going to war. I just feel horrible. That's Z! Z? Let's go, soldier. An ant that looks death in the face. Generally just make belittling comments and snicker behind death's back. <laughs> <laughs> the royal princess, Bala. <laughs> Very little time to think, you know, one must attack. The battlefield is still fresh in his mind, so... Youch. That's it. What bar? I danced with this guy at the bar the other night. You were a worker. But now you're a war hero. A worker dance with my fiance. This, this is not. Yeah. Uh -oh. Explain this. Oh boy. He's taking our hostage. Huh? No, 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 back no. in. Don't make me hurt her. Oh. <laughs> Don't make me hurt her. Here they come to rescue me and kill you. Kill? <laughs> kill you. What are you waiting for? UFO. Oh no! It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh, Sharon Stone. Jeez! Oh my gosh! Oh, that's sick. 
Yeah. You never started fires with a magnifying glass. Oh. I mean, I wouldn't kill ants on purpose, though. Yeah, me either. You killed ants on purpose? There was one time I killed a spider when we were on camera, and some people got real offended by that. Well, yeah. You told me to kill it. That tree. No, I didn't. When I say kill, I mean just get it off. Oh, is that right? Yeah, well, I sent it to the Lord. I got it out of the house, all right. I've been kidnapped by the village idiot. <laughs> Who's the bigger idiot? I can't believe you tried to pass yourself off as a soldier. Don't you realize that I'm out of your league? You're the Jeez. one who's cruising the worker bar looking for a little action. I chose you because you were the most <gasps> pathetic. I'm gonna let you become part of my most erotic fantasies. Oh my wow. gosh. You just forget that, write it off. <laughs> she looks at him and just goes. The general and I are deeply engaged. <laughs> you are you are. Absolutely wonderful. I order you to stop. Out here, you can't order me around. Oh. See? Wait for me. We will spare no effort to bring her back. Essential to all our plans for the future. The worker used to dig around here. A worker? That's impossible. I used to be a soldier, and I switched places with him. You're telling me I don't have to be here? It's the workers who control the means of production. Uh-oh. Let's get back to work. Why? He's leading the revolution. He's leading the revolution. He's gonna revolt. Yeah. Maybe you were living the high life, but personally, this beats digging. How would you feel if you were expected to give birth every 10 seconds for the rest of your life? What? Yeah, Queen Anne's. Oh, that's what she was doing earlier. Yeah, that's what, that's what the lines were oh, for. Oh, I thought she, they were like handing babies <laughs> off. No, she was just spitting them out back there. Oh, <laughs> gosh. <laughs> I guess I don't know that much about ants. <laughs> I hope you know what you're doing. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Buzz off, pawn of the oppressor. <laughs> we want Z. They lost Ballast Trail at the edge of the lake. The lake. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard a lot about this Z, but where is he now? Z doesn't give a damn about us. We are the ones ensuring the future of our great colony. Each and every one of you will get the day off at the Mega Tunnel Dedication Ceremonies. Mandible! Yeah. Really knows how to work a crowd, this yeah. guy. Now bring me that soldier. See, come here! <laughs> Thermos? Yeah. <laughs> Insectopia. Pepsi, we saw the food that built America. Yeah. The, the soda wars. Mmm, sandwiches. Huh? Let's eat. <laughs> There's some kind of force field. <laughs> some kind of force field. Crawling insects. Oopsie. Oh, the poopsie. Good morning. <laughs> I'm Princess Vala. The Euro Trash. What? No, you're poor. We have a social obligation to less fortunate. <laughs> Big, strong pheromone factory. Pheromone factory. Oh. oh. Muffy. <gasps> no. Oh, no. Aww. Oh, Muffy. Help. Uh. Help me. <gasps> See? Oh, I always thought this part was cool. I'll look out for ants a little more carefully now. <laughs> oh. Z, I was starting to like you. Who the hell is that? <laughs> Oh my gosh! Yeah, it's a lot more brutal. Don't tell that tight ass anything, Weaver. <laughs> Good lord. Where is Z? It's Ectopia. That's where he'd be going. That's for Z. Kill him. It's for the good of the colony. You made the right decision. Take him back to the mega tunnel. Put him on the front line. I can admit it when I'm wrong. Z. And, and this time, I gotta tell you, I was correct. More beautiful than you. Bunch of trash. <laughs> <laughs> Gone on the <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna be a 
Oh, gosh. <laughs> Motor oil in the water. Fully prepared, ready to seal the doors. I'll make certain the digging crew stays on schedule for breakthrough midway in the dedication ceremony. That stuff tastes like crap. Really? Let me try some. <laughs> hey, it is crap. Ew. Oh. Trouble's my middle name. Actually, my middle name is Marion, but... <laughs> hey, new guy. We need more wood. You ever wonder why they call you guys pests? <laughs> Hi. Thought I'd drop in. Welcome to Insect. <laughs> Our princess has uh, gone missing. We're just sick about it. Anybody seen her? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going back. The thing is, princess, I got orders. Where, where's he? He's he's uh... dead. Sala! Stop! You the Wait, how did he fly? Just some ants got wings. What? You know, some ants have wings. Are you serious? Yeah, it's usually like the queen and like the princess. We gotta watch a Nat Geo on, the least on ants. <laughs> You're just in time. Take your hands off me. I'll explain everything afterwards. The wedding is off. Things are going to change around here. Good for her. You're right, princess. My mother will have your head. I doubt that. You're crazy. I believe history will see things differently. <laughs> oh, you're there. All workers are to report to the tunnel opening ceremonies. I'm going to the, the tunnel opening ceremonies. <laughs> Is the tunnel opening ceremonies. Hey, worker! Opening the tunnel. Where are they going? <laughs> tunnel opening ceremonies. Damn it! Your manners haven't improved much. Z! <gasps> Get it, Z. I think I'm gonna yeah. He keeps talking about washing away the filth, and, and I think he's going to try to kill my mother. Not just your mother. They're gonna seal everybody off in the mega tunnel. Here's the lake. Today is the realization of a dream. The past will be washed away, and a new day will- Oh boy. I only wish my daughter were here to appreciate it. Just find her. Oh, I will, your highness. Do we need to go through with this? Look at what these workers have done. Cutter, you're a fine officer, but you seem to have a certain weakness for the lower orders that I find disturbing. Seal it up. Yes, sir. Jump! These difficult times. Hey, wait a minute. That guy owes me money. This tremendous... <laughs> is a testimony to this... Leave the pessimism to me, okay? And now you have given us this... I... The sun will Mom, pour stop. into this... Bala! We're in terrible danger. Stop digging! See? If you break through that wall, we're all gonna drown. Got to get everyone out of here. What if someone ordered you to jump off a bridge? You, you, you... Hmm. Get back to work. Go, 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 go. Calmly head towards the exit. For your life! It's gonna flat! <laughs> no! All the exits are blocked! We're trapped! Jeez. Listen to me! Who the heck are you? Z! Who are you, me? Got it. Here you go. Go, go, go! I know almost exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> the weak elements of the colony are being washed away. How does he plan on rebuilding the colony, though? Well, he was gonna do it with uh, Princess Bala. He still thinks she's oh, imprisoned. Oh. oh. Get going! So he thinks that she's safe. Yeah, and then they would populate oh, their new colony okay. together. Our princess is secured. Time for a new beginning. <laughs> what the hell is that? I think that's the weak element, sir. Don't you understand? It's for the good of the colony. Oh, good for him. What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. I am the colony. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> Get these ants up here. <laughs> Give them some air. Back up. See? <laughs> I guess resuscitation works on ants. Ants too. as well, yeah. You to ant. Your average boy meets girl changes underlying social order story. <laughs> Thinking of starting a family, few kids, maybe a million or two to begin with. And you know what? It's right back where I started. This time, 
I chose it. Just finished watching Ants, a very different experience than A Bug's Life. I feel like this one's a lot more mature, it's a lot darker, it's a lot grittier. They're talking about overthrowing the social order, you know? You know what, there's also a Bee Movie I forgot about, uh, which is very, it's like laden with memes. As far as ants go, star-studded cast, different animation style, so you can see why some people might prefer one over the other. I would probably feel more comfortable showing the kids a bug's life than, than this one really. But I'd love to know what you thought of Ants, especially in conjunction with after just watching A Bug's Life. I thought this one was fun. Visually, I mean, it looked a whole lot different than A Bug's Life to me. And honestly, the animation I don't think looked as good. I'm wondering if they did that on purpose. I think the storyline overall was better structured than A Bug's Life. Honestly, it was just a lot more fun, I feel. I don't, I don't know, maybe that's just my opinion, but I thought it was definitely a lot darker. There was a lot of things in this that I did not expect. I thought it was a lot of fun. I loved Weaver, he was so much fun. Loved Z, loved Bala. For me, Ants had a bunch of characters that were memorable. And one of the big things for me that was an issue for A Bug's Life was that a lot of the characters were not memorable. I can't even remember one character from that movie now. And we saw it not that long ago. It wasn't just one simple storyline that had a bunch of stuff going on. We had this idea of Insectopia, and we had these little storylines throughout with Z finding his love, the general who had this evil plot going on. Then we had just the colony that was kind of in the background. It kept me entertained throughout. The animation, probably the least appealing for me, but at the end of the day, I don't really care about that because I was entertained much better than A Bug's Life. However, I do have to say that I don't think insect animated, maybe not animated either, uh, are my thing. I don't know. It doesn't bring the same like joy to me as some of like the other animated movies that we have done, but Ants was a lot of fun. I'm glad that I saw it. What would you rate Ants? Mm. I'm gonna rate Ants a 7.5. I agree with a lot of what you said. There's something in Hollywood about like stealing ideas and every once in a while you'll see competing studios release movies that are very, very similar. That must have spread and somehow got to DreamWorks and then they were wanting to capitalize on it themselves or vice versa. But I, th I think A Bug's Life had, the inception was there for that one first, I think. They are totally different, but there are similarities just in the story structure. In this, we had Z in A Bug's Life, you had Flick, and they're both kind of outcast, not wanting to follow the status quo, strong individuals and, and big in like their independence. You have your main antagonist in A Bug's Life, it's Hopper, and this, it's General Mandible. Whereas General Mandible was wanting to like wipe out the colony systematically uh, to take over as a ruler, along with Princess Bala, and then what he viewed as like the strong ants to continue on as well. In A Bug's Life, he just had Hopper who understood the threat of the ants and how they could overpower them so we had to keep them in their place. Similar in that regard, uh, A Bug's Life is just like a lighter movie too. It's just it's just like happier, even in the darker parts, like with the bird, the fake bird thing and the grasshoppers attacking all the ants. It still felt cartoony, whereas like in this one, the battlefield sequence felt like really dark and depressing. So I really like them both for very different reasons. I would say that they're pretty level in as far as which one I think is like the better movie, just in different categories. For me, I'd give Ants a 7.5, which is what I think I gave A Bug's Life. Of course, these are just some of our thoughts. We'd love to know what you guys think down in the comments below. Which do you prefer, A Bug's Life or Ants? If you did enjoy this video, leave it a like. It helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe, you'll be notified when we post the next video. And check out Patreon. You can watch some of these early before anyone else ad-free until I post them, as well as the full-length reactions over there too. But for now, that is it. Jen and I appreciate you watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Take care, everyone.